Hey everybody, welcome to Bucket Man Scouting. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an all-22 film breakdown on 2024 prospect tackle out of the University of Notre Dame, Joe Alt. He is 6'8", 315 pounds. This guy is my second graded tackle in this year's draft. Um, I believe the system that he fits best at is more that West Coast zone running scheme. I'm going to go through his strengths and then his weaknesses, and then we can get into this film breakdown. So his first strength is boost a prototypical blindside protector build. Adaptability picks up stunts and blitzes and shows an advanced understanding of pass pro sets. <clears throat> Dominates in the run game with a mauler mentality, leveraging defenders momentum to wash them out and creates alleys for ball carriers. Dominating pass protector showcasing a Balance set and a strong anchor. <clears throat> now we're going to get into weaknesses, which is I have three weaknesses. Permits defenders too close to his frame, comprehensing his ability to leverage his wingspan. Tends to lunge at opponents, leaving him susceptible to pass rush moves. Despite his powerful build, occasionally faults in drive blocking and anchoring sets. So <clears throat> this guy to me fits more of that West Coast zone running scheme. It can hide a lot of his weaknesses here and elevate his strengths in a lot of aspects. So let's get into this film breakdown. So Joe Alt is the left tackle for Notre Dame. He's right here. He is in a three-point stance <clears throat> right here. You're going to have the receiver come in motion. So Joe Walt right here, this is something that he needs to get better at. Instead of extending his frame here, he needs to get underneath those shoulder pads. That's something he needs to get better at because you see in his set right here, he needs... In my personal opinion, if he goes to the right organization that accelerates his coaching accelerates his skill set then he can be a very good player for your team here again his footwork is a little choppy here um, I don't like that again his footwork isn't the best here and you're going to see him get pushed back into the quarterback a little bit there again I want my tackles to be a little bit more sound there instead of getting pushed back you see that the Ohio State defensive end here is just using one hand he's extending there doing a little bull rush move on the outside but again, I really like the recovery about right here. He begins to chop his feet a little bit. His feet are very well done here at the end of the set there. Um, but at the beginning of the set, you're going to see it's a little choppy, a little bit sloppy here. That's something that he needs to get better at is his footwork um, in a lot of aspects of his game. In order, Dame produces really good offensive linemen. Um, Quentin Nelson is a name that comes to mind. Mike McGlinchey is a former Notre Dame alum. Um, not a very good tackle in my personal opinion. Um, and he doesn't, Mike McGlinchey specifically doesn't fit the multi-power run, pass protecting sets that Sean Payton likes to run. He's more of the West Coast zone run. But swinging back to Joe Walt here on the next play. So another three-point stance. Again, I would like to ha see him in a two-point stance, in my personal opinion. I like my interior in three-point stance. I like my tackles in two-point stance. That's just my preference. But again, I believe he's a better run blocker right now than a pass protector, pass protecting tackle. Um, I believe he is my number one run blocking tackle in this year's draft. Um, the guy from Penn State that I did a couple months ago, to me, is the better overall prospect. Uh, but Alt does a really good job of setting the edge there. I wish he got a little bit lower there. But he does a very good job where his hand placement is. It's where the shoulder pads needs to be here. He walls off, gets vertical right here. I want to see him flip his hips. Right there, there. Good job. See how that hole's opening up with this left guard and then Joe Walt there maintaining and setting the edge here. Does a very good job on this play. Again, I would like to see him... One little nitpick I have is I would like to see him continue to chop his feet. He kind of gets stagnant right there. 
It gets a little too vertical for my liking there. Again, get your butt lower like you're sitting in a seat. Drive the guy. He could have got more yardage. Ah, he trips right there. So again, you see on this play right here, see this is the benefit of the All-22 film. This is why the All-22 film matters rather than stats and pro football focus inflated uh, stats without any context. But you see how he, the running back trips here again, gets stagnant right there. You see how he gets stagnant? I don't like that from my uh, tackles. Again, he needs to get his butt lower, drive the guy. And then he trips. Okay, next play for Joe Alt. This is what I like to see. Both your tackles are in a two-point stance. Your interior is in a three-point stance here. Again, I like this. I want to see what Joe Alt does here. Let's look at his footwork. Good chopping his feet, chopping his feet, chopping his feet, chopping his feet, chopping his feet. There you go. Again, that's the quarterback's fault for going into the guy, but he does a very good job. See how he's chopping his feet, chopping his feet, keeping that lower leverage, chopping his feet, chopping his feet, chopping his feet. And again, the disadvantage that Joel has is he is 6'8", 315 pounds. So he's a tall human being, kind of Mike McGlinchey-esque height. And uh, the weight is a little bit more heavier than Mike McFlinchy. But, you know, I like how he's chopping his feet, chopping his feet, chop, keeping, keeping his hips to the defender. Does a very good job here. Again, I don't like the extension here. I like to keep... Again, that's something that I don't like about all. He kind of gets a little bit... His footwork is not the best. And his footwork is a little bit sloppy at times. And that's something that I want to see him get better and consistent at. I don't like how far this leg goes back again because you're going to be going against better defenders in the NFL especially outside linebackers and five techs and a 4-3 defense outside linebackers and a 3-4 defense again I, I just don't like that number 10 does go into him there but again you see alt here what he's doing at the beginning of the play is excellent this is what I want to see right here that is good form that is good footwork he's chopping but you're going to see on this play, he gets stagnant. Again, he put, see how this back foot kind of just gets stagnant and stays right there? Right there. Let's go back again. Right about there. Gets a little stagnant right there. Again, I, again, and then he's extending. Again, keep your body level, keep your arms close to you. Then you can be. Again, I just don't like that. Joe Alt needs to get a little bit better on that end. He started great at the beginning, and then towards the end, he got a little bit sluggish there. Okay, next play for Joe Alt in this Notre Dame offense. <clears throat> Three-point stance. Chopping his feet. Good play by Alt, man. Going against number 35, and then he just drives him there. Get Great play. That is probably my favorite play so far watching this film. Gets on, gets a hand on, drives him. Good play, Joe Alt. Good play. That's why I say I believe he's a better run-blocking tackle right now than a pass-protecting tackle. That's a hell of a play by Alt. Okay, next play for Joe Alt. Of the three-point stance here going against a, again, this is the differences between what a 3-4 th outside linebacker is and a 5-tech defensive end right there. You see the alignment here? This is what a 4-3 defense look like. You have your three off-ball linebackers. You have your four defensive linemen. It's called a 4-3. Great play again by Joe Alt. His assigned man is this uh, zero-tech defensive tackle here for Ohio State. Number 22 comes in, switches to him. Very good leverage. Again, I just want to see all continue to chop his feet. He gets way too stagnant. See, see how this leg right here? He extends his legs. It looks like uh, Garrett Bulls-esque, Mike McFlinchy-esque. I don't, I don't really like that from him. That's something that I'm very nit nitpicky about here. But he does a very good job walling off his defenders, flipping his hips, getting vertical with it. Getting a better run to blocker than a 
pass blocker. Okay, next play for Ohio State, or my apologies, Notre Dame. <laughs> Keep getting my college teams mixed up here. He is in a three-point stance. There you go. There you go, Alt. There you go. You see how he initiated, initiated contact there? Watch his feet, too. That's what I want to see. Continue to move your feet. Continue to move your feet. They get a little choppy there. But again, he's able to maintain it. Watch his footwork. You see how little, how sloppy it is in his mid-set right there? See how it's getting sloppy? That's something that the NFL teams need to work on in his, is his footwork. But this is a very good play by Alt. Again, he's able to recover there. Good play. He's able to recover there uh, mid-set there. You're going to see how he's going to flip his hips right there. And then he's able to recover, chop his feet, chop his feet. Very good. Let's watch his hand placement. Uh, there you go. There you go, Alt. Again, I like it for him to get initiated underneath those shoulder pads because you're going to see right here. Knocks him out. Okay, now he's able to recover right there. You see how he has his hands right underneath those shoulder pads? That's where I want to see my offensive lineman there. Good recovery there by all. I like the ending more than the beginning. Okay, next play for Notre Dame. You have Notre Dame in a two-point, or Joe Alt in a two-point stance. Three, yep, two-point stance. Chop his feet, chop his feet, chop his feet, chop his feet, chop. There you go. Watch him chop his feet. Chop his feet, chop his feet, chop, chop, chop. There you go. Again, you see how, again, I just don't like the vertical base of his pass protecting sets. I wish he got a little bit lower there. But again, good footwork, even right here. Good, good, good. That's a very, that's a good pass uh, winning set there from Joe Alt. A lot better than what we're seeing before. Getting better throughout the game. I think that's, one of Joe Walt's biggest strengths is he gets better when the game goes on. Good, 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 good. Look at that. Look at that wall right there. Look at that hole there. I mean, Notre Dame produces really good offensive linemen. Good set, good set. Good job, Alt. Okay, next play, three-point stance. Running play there. <laughs> now that's for that's 22's fault. He get he's able to get off all. Should have done a better job tackling there. I don't want. That's just a terror. That's just terrible. That is just that is just god awful there by number 22. I mean, what are they teaching these players nowadays? I mean, that's the way you. Ta oh my god. All right, I want to see alts get off here. Joel has a really smooth get off. That's the one thing I like about him. He has a very smooth get off. He has very smooth hips. It's just putting it all together for him. I think is going to be a coach's biggest task when he gets to the NFL. All right, three point stance again. I don't like that play by Alt. I don't like that play by Alt at all. Again, you see how he's not able to get that initial push right here. He's getting walled off here. Look at just look at his footwork, man. It's just I don't like the leverage on this play from him. You see, he gets way too high. And again, what did I say? One of the things that I say, despite his powerful build, occasionally falters in drive blocking and anchoring sets. And this is a drive blocking anchoring set here, and it's just it looks terrible. Okay, next play, three-point stance. There you go, Alt. That's a good play. I really like the one-two here. Goes to number 44 here. It's going to be a whip-around play. It's able to recover there. Watch the footwork, footwork, footwork. Footwork's a little bit sloppy there, but it's not bad. There you go, Alt. Good, 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 good. That's the best you can do in a set like that, especially these wraparound plays right here by defensive linemen. There you go, Kate. That's that. He has good hand placement there. 
very good play by Joe Alt. That's a good play. I'll give him that. I mean, you know, you're occasionally going to get pushed back here. But, again, that's a very good play. Yeah, I like it where his hand placement is. Again, footwork. Again, just look at that base. I don't, I don't like that. I want to see my offense alignment like this. Again, I just don't like that vertical base here. I understand he's 6'8", but he needs to get better in those sets. <clears throat> okay, next play for Joe Alt. He's in a three-point stance here. I want to watch that play again. Okay, he just has some... Again, I like that beginning set. Watch his footwork here. That's very good footwork by Alt there. Chop, 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 chop. And then he gets a little sloppy there. He, just, he needs to get better with his sets. Again, I could see the potential there with all. It's just a matter of combining the coaching, combining the just molding it into better pass blocking sets. Because I believe he's the best, one of the better run blocking guards, or my apologies, tackles in this draft. Okay, so this is going to be the final play I show you guys today on Joe Walt. Um,. So right here, he's in a two-point stance. He's going to be probably going against a five-tech defensive end. Chop, 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 chop. That's that's a very good play by Alt. That's 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 what I want to see. Watch watch him chop his feet. Look at the chop. There you go. There you go. Yes. Good job, Alt. Chop, chop. Keep that low base. There you go. And you see it that you see towards the end of the play, the defensive end got a better of him in terms of the bull rush there, but is able to wrap around his his long arms, get him under there, and then maintain it. That's a very good play by Alt. I like that play. So this is my all twenty two film breakdown on Joe Alt tackle out of Notre Dame. He is six eight, three hundred and fifteen pounds. Uh, my second rated. Offensive tackle in this year's draft so far. Uh, the guy from Penn State is my number one uh, tackle in this year's draft. Um, all kind of reminds me of... He has some Ryan Ramschek, Ronnie Stanley to his game. But it's just a matter of molding it together. And just getting better in his pass protecting sets. And if he goes to a right organization that will utilize and kind of hide his weaknesses a little bit, he could be a very good tackle for you. Kind of, He also kind of reminds me of Taylor Lewan from Michigan. I think that's a better pro comp um, for me. Taylor Lewan out of Michigan, he kind of has a little bit of Taylor Lewan in his game, especially in the run blocking. He's a mean run blocker. So um, I think all if he goes to the right organization that runs a West Coast zone running scheme, that can hide some of his weaknesses, he can be a very good player for you. Um, and I hope all goes to an organization that can utilize his strengths. So let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Again, I'm going to continue to pump these out through the next coming months and weeks before the draft. Um, so yeah, this is Joe Walt, front tackle out of Notre Dame, my second rated uh, tackle prospect in the 2024 draft.